Welcome back to Aftermath, ladies and gentlemen. And it sounds like from the music playing, we're about to be graced by the presence of our WAW president. Here she comes, Miss Moody Starr, with the unmasked referee, who I understand is uh, just called Red Guy. Red Guy, the referee, coming out with Miss Moody Starr. I wonder what the president has on her mind here tonight. So let's take it down to the president. that from this point on, all of our scheduled matches will include a stipulation in which the winner goes on to Aftermath next week and gets a guaranteed title shot. <laughs> but will the champion be freaking flex? Or will it be Todd Sobo? That's because tonight's main event will be a legacy flashback to one year ago when it was Todd Sobel defending the WAW Championship against Freakin' Flax. Tonight, the roles will be reversed. Moving right along here, we're going to announce a peak. Announce tonight's first number one contenders match. The following contest is scheduled for one fall with a time limit of 30 minutes. And it's for a WAW Champion title shot. Entry first and hailing from North Fork, Virginia, weighing in at 230 pounds, the Eagle of Justice, Sage Sorrell. 230 pounds? What are we talking like four years ago or something? More like, I don't know, four months ago? Either way, the Eagle of Justice, Sage Sorrell, making his way up towards the ring as he will be doing battle with Katie Doobie here tonight, the winner to go on to get a WAW Championship match next week. I guess the winners of all of our scheduled matches here tonight will go on to get a shot next week. Freaking Flax or Todd Sobel could be very busy next week here on Aftermath. Jay Zarello never changing his way, still singing uh, his theme song by American Smile. Yeah, and, see it, and screaming at Moody Star's face. Shut up! Sage Zarello's opponent. In fact, the last person that he met the last time WAW was around, he met Katie Doobie at Apocalypse one-on-one, -on -one, and she defeated him there, and she will look to do the same here again tonight against Sage Zarello. A WAW championship shot is on the line. What an opportunity this is for both competitors. Both Sage and Katie, to my knowledge, have never had WAW championship matches. Are you ready to start this? Big opportunity for both of these competitors here tonight on Aftermath in our first of many matches to determine a number one contender, or number one contenders, I guess, to the WAW Championship next week here on Aftermath. Katie Doobie with a side headlock on Zarello, bounced off the rope, sent off the opposite side, shoulder block, takedown. Sage Zarello takes Katie down. Katie goes underneath and trips Sage Zarello as he tried to jump over her. Didn't quite work out. Katie Doobie going back to that side headlock. Picked up again, DDT, 
as Sage Zarello tried to counter, Katie threw what weight she has and brought Sage Zarello down to the mat with that DDT driving him straight into the mat. Do it for chaos. Katie now with an Irish whip into the opposite side. Sage hits the corner, moves out of the way. Katie stops, sees a move, but she gets hit right in the side of the head by Zarello. Multiple punches to the temple of Katie Dooley. Katie with a shot right to the head, dropping Zarello down. Katie Doobie getting quite the response from the ladies here in attendance as Moody Star noted it seems like it's female night here at WAW. And that one couldn't have made the ladies happy as Sage takes Katie down and drives her head first into the mat now, into the ropes and falls back across the knees. That couldn't have felt good for the spine of Katie Doobie. She might need a trip to a chiropractor after that one. Now swung in the ropes. What is Sage gonna do here? Oh man, look at the whiplash effect on that one. Sage bouncing Katie in between the bottom and middle rope there. That could have caused some damage to her head or neck. Looks like she might have even caught the rope in the mouth. Every one of you better shut up before this happens. Zarello now trying to lock on the scout's honor. And he's got it locked on. Will Katie give it up here? Will she give up to the scout's honor? No, Zarello's got her up. Oh, what a slam there. I guess you can call that the scout's honor slam. Zarello now goes for the cover. We got a count. And Katie gets a foot on the rope as the referee was just about to come down for the count of three. And Zarello is none too happy. He's looking to get a victory over Katie. She's got his number. I think she beat him like three out of four matches that they had in 2006. Well, I should say in encounters because she eliminated him from the six person tag in match. And she's going to town here in the corner, hammering away at St. Zarello. That's probably the closest to a woman's chest he's been in years. And by years, I mean since he was feeding off his mom's, well, you know what. Probably still is. Katie going back to that side headlock once again. Zarello now, he's trying to bring the arm through. He's got her, got her locked up in. Trying for that follow the leader. Katie now gonna try for the cherry popper. Can she pop his cherry again? No cherry popping this time. Reverse suplex, slamming Katie down. Right down on the stomach, stomach and knees first. Right into the canvas, this could be all. The match could be over here. Sage going for the cover, looks like. He's got his feet on the ropes. And Zarella picks up the victory with his feet on the ropes from Woody Stars getting in the ring. Moody Star called for the match to be restarted. Katie coming up from behind. She's got Zarello roll up. We get a count and we get three. And Katie Doobie picks up the victory over Sage Zarello after the match was restarted because Moody Star caught Zarello with his feet on the ropes. What a moment. How are you gonna cheat with the president standing at ringside to see what was going on? Zarello kicking the referee in the stomach. Going after the referee. What is this? He's setting it up and Follow the leader onto the referee. Going after Katie. He's got her around the throat. Calling her another derogatory term. I don't think Katie is uh, what Sage is saying she is. She's a real nice girl. And Moody Star is shoving down Sage Zarello. Moody Star scolding Sage here. And Zarello shoves the president down. What the hell is going on here? I think Sage has lost it. Sage is finally blowing the basket, screaming and coughing. He's screaming so loud he's winding himself and coughing. Careful, buddy, you might cough up a lung. Sage throwing an elbow pad. I guess that means it's time for business. You see this, Katie? 
Do you see him? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, come on. Setting up the referee whoa. again. Whoa. Trying to take him up and follow the leader again. What the hell is Zarello's problem? I hate WXW! Zarello explaining that he hates WAW. Why did you resign? The contracts were all voided. You had your chance to leave. Why did you come back then? You hate WAW. You should have left. I mean, I know I can go about the I hate women rant every week. And his Rosie O'Donnell haircut, he's losing it, getting a little bitch chant from the crowd. The ladies here in attendance definitely not taking a liking to Sage, despite him looking like one of them. Oh yeah, I'm on fire about Sage Zarella. Sage Zarella losing his cool here tonight and losing a very important match to Katie Doobie. And Katie Doody will go on next week to challenge whomever the WAW champion is. And the action on Aftermath continues next.